With thousands of people streaming daily, Twitch streamers are constantly trying to find ways to improve the quality of their stream, especially playing demanding games like PUBG or Apex Legends. A common way to do this is to use a computer to only game and then a computer to only stream. This means you'd have to buy expensive mixers, you'd have to buy capture cards, and in the end it's just very, very expensive. But with a free OBS plugin called OBS NDI, we can make a dual PC streaming setup at no cost. More on that after the intro. The idea of a dual PC streaming setup is nothing new. The idea stems from this. Streaming is a pretty intense CPU task because your computer is constantly transcoding video for a friendly web playing codec for Twitch's servers. So having one computer to strictly game and then taking the output from that, plugging it into a streaming computer, which obviously only streams, can have huge performance benefits in your game because your FPS will not be affected and your stream quality could be better. Gaming is also a CPU intensive task, so if you don't have a somewhat decent quad core processor or better in your PC, your stream will look like a PowerPoint slideshow. Even if you had a good enough PC, 1080p 60 frames per second streaming takes a lot more CPU horsepower to encode than 720p 60 or even 720p 30. But obviously, as I said earlier, the whole setup is very, very expensive and not a lot of people can do this unless streaming is a profession of yours. However, with OBS NDI, we can achieve the same effect just by having two computers on the same network. NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it was developed by NewTek to send video feeds over networks for live video production. There is an output PC that is constantly sharing its video feed on the network, and then a receiving PC that takes the video signal in almost real time. Setting this up is super easy thanks to GitHub user Palakis, who developed an OBS plugin which utilizes the NDI technology and easy to use OBS sources. So here's how to do it. Go to Palakis's GitHub page for NDI, which is linked down below. Download the installer on both machines that will be used. Uh, the installation process is pretty standard, but after that, everything is done. Take note that if you're installing this on a Mac, you will have to right click the file and click open to override the built-in security feature that does not allow files from the internet to be opened in Mac OS. Next, go to the computer that will be your designated output PC. Make sure that your scene is set up properly because once the NDI stream starts, you cannot change it unless you break the link. So make sure your resolution and frame rate is how you want it. Go to the tools option in the tabs above and click NDI output settings. Make sure to click the checkbox that enables NDI streaming and the name of the output really doesn't matter. Now switch to your streaming PC and create a new source with the NDI source option. It should detect your other computer already streaming on the network. There are some settings that you can change in order to feed your needs better, but I left them alone. One thing that I heavily, heavily, heavily recommend is to have both computers connected via Ethernet to the network. Using Wi-Fi will add too much latency so the results will not be as good and Ethernet is usually quicker to use in the end anyways. Now we can see whatever happens on the first computer on the second computer. From here you can add overlays, etc. And even all the audio from the computer comes over in real time as well. This takes all the streaming strain off the main computer so I'm free to play whatever games I want without worrying how the stream will cope. And that's all there is to it. There's no catches or anything. So thank you guys for watching, I hope this helped if you're looking for a dual PC streaming setup or maybe you found it interesting. Uh, if you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more tech content and we will see you guys in next week's video.